Hey, welcome lovelies. Greetings and salutations. On the door. Come make a chat a little bit. So tell me something, you see? More ask you know, why you keep doing it? Why every time you promise you're going to do it, it's not done? Why you keep putting it off for another time? Next year, some more convenient day. Come here. Me say, what make you do it? You're getting old, you know? Me have great ears. So don't feel away when I say, you're getting gray and guess what soon you're gonna retire and still don't live out your dreams welcome guy to motivations and memoirs if this is your first time i am Iverica. it is good to have you i pray this week you'll have a wonderful one that the blessings of god will find you that you will be enveloped in the love of god so last week i spoke about the five chronic symptoms of purpose and in our devotions at work the thought was on procrastination and i said mm -hmm, that is my follow-up video for this week and so guys i want us to talk make we walk down the street of procrastination me do it you do it we all do it and we need to stop so the Webster's Dictionary says procrastination is to delay or postpone, to put off intentionally and habitually the things that we know that we have to do. So Proverbs 9 and verse 10, the word says, whatsoever thy hands find to do, do it with all your might. For there is no work, no device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave. So in other words, while we are alive, while the blood is running warm in our veins and we are breathing, let us do all that we have to do. So we want to talk about putting off procrastination, removing ourselves from that troublesome word procrastination. And so my thought was taken from Bob and Debbie Gassi's word for today. And of course, I added my own little spin to it. So the first move to get us out of procrastination is to take responsibility for our lives. Now, it doesn't matter who is fighting against you. All if you think so, them obey you. Whether or not you have money, you have influence, it is time for you to be responsible. Get an accountability partner. If you know so you can't manage on your own because you keep forgetting, get an, accountab an accountability partner. Somebody who will always be in your ears. Like my friend Michelle McCray Smith who keeps saying, Turn it! You know, start right? The memoirs. Yeah. So, I am also speaking to myself because I do procrastinate. We are human beings and we all do it. So guys, let's set some goals. Be specific about what you're, you want to do. Some measurable goals that are achievable, realistic, and has a time bound. So in other words, all right, January 2024, God tarries coming and spirit life. That is when I am going to start and measure them. Make sure I said can work out. The second thing is examine your excuses. You know how many times we make excuses because we really don't want to step up and do it because we are fearful or all of that. Excuses, they say, are like exit signs on the road of progress. They take us off track because we keep saying, my plate is full. I'm tired. I have to take care of my family. But guys, let's eliminate the excuses. If we want to stop procrastinating, we have to take out the excuses out of the equation. We have to assess what is happening and identify the whys. Why won't I? What am I afraid of? Why am I afraid? Why do I keep putting this off? Thirdly, we need to focus on the benefits of completing a task. You know how it feels good when you have something to do on your agenda and you finally get around to do it. It feels good. Don't. There's a feeling of accomplishment. Yes, man. It feels good. So let's be a milestone in our own personal development or the completion of something bigger and greater in other words create an action plan and go execute lastly ask for help you know we have a problem with that we can chat and we can do all sorts of things but it's when you when it come in to, come in come on to tell somebody say listen to me i need your help you know, because i just don't know how i can't figure it out mm -hmm. we draw back no man is an island no man you cannot stand alone we all need someone to help us so step up step out and ask questions man ask for help how this do how do i get this up and running Get the help you need guys implement your plan find appropriate techniques to activate them and christopher parker said procrastination is like a credit card hey me getting out trouble with credit card i mean i want no more it's lots of fun until you get the bill yeah man because you have everything you just swipe 
<laughs> but when the bill come at judgment, do it now, guys. Tomorrow is not promise. Persons are out there depending on what you need to do so that they can pick up from where you left off and continue running the race. Persons are out there waiting on you to step up so they can be released into their destinies. Have yourselves a great week, guys. And remember, put off procrastination. It's, it gets you nowhere. Just a bunch of excuses and excuses. What good? See you next week. Take care of yourselves.